oppression is not a crime. The offering of help and sanctuary, the alleviating of pain and suffering, the restoring to help should always be looked upon as acts that society should commend and applaud. Those acts should never be treated as criminal. An act of kindness and compassion towards suffering non-human animals should never be seen as a criminal offence. Yet this is exactly what is happening. Right now, non-human animals are regarded as things, treated as things, looked upon as property, used and abused for profit and greed. The police are upholding an unjust system where animals are considered property. We demand that law enforcement be used to protect life, not corporate profits. Compassionate citizens who reach out to suffering non-human animals should never be treated as criminals. Yet this is exactly what is happening. Compassionate people worldwide are striving to expose violence and cruelty and abuse and suffering so that the perpetrators are made to stop their evil. And yet these compassionate citizens are being treated as criminals while the perpetrators of violence and abuse are being offered police protection and are allowed freedom to continue with their violence. How can this even remotely be seen as justice? By doing this, police are complicit to injustice and animal abuse. We want justice for the animals. The police are holding an unjust system where animals are considered property. As a society, we've progressed from the days of sexism, where when wives were the property of their husbands, and racism, when slaves were the property of the slave master. And in the same, same way that we've progressed away from sexism and racism, we need to progress away from the root of all isms, speciesism. Yes, non-human animals are different to humans, but they are the same in every way that matters. They feel joy and pain and want to live just like we do. And as in racism and sexism, the same holds true for speciesism. Difference does not justify abuse. Non-human animals are not the property of human animals. Animals are here with us, not for us. Animals want to live just, just like, like us. us. Animals feel pain just like us. Animals hate cages just like us. Animals want to be free just like us. Animals deserve respect just like us. Animals love their families just like us. Animals used for food, cosmetics, entertainment, all enslaved. Abuse is an intrinsical part of enslavement. Investigation after investigation has shown that corporations are lying to the public about what is happening on farms. Instead of welcoming transparency in the service done by activists, those heroes and heroines are being charged with theft and rioting for rescuing animals. EXE has investigated farms all around the world, from the US to Australia, and what we see on every farm is animals suffering and having their rights violated, yet it is the activists who rescue individuals from this nightmare that are being arrested and charged. It's time to hold the police accountable for their complicity in this violent system. Activists are facing decades in prison for providing sick animals with medical care. Mean rations make billions off the, off of violently exploiting animals. This is not justice, it's violence. It's not justice. It's violence. It's not justice. It's violence. The law is not an excuse. Profit is not an excuse. Greed is not an excuse. Power is not an excuse. There is never an excuse. It's not justice. It's not justice. It's not justice. It's not justice.
is not an excuse. Yeah,